on. When you're renting, always clean up the house before you leave. What's going on? My name is Cole Connor. I'm an artist and entrepreneur. Just over a year ago, we moved into a 2,300 square foot home in hopes of building out our business, growing personally, and building our relationship. Well, after a year, we did that and we literally sold everything in our house, moved across the entire United States to California. With Instagram travel influencers like Chelsea Cowey, Sam Calder, and minimalists like Matt Diavella and Sorelia Moore, we too have been those people that you scroll on Instagram and you wonder what life would be like if things were different. If you could travel, if you were a minimalist, if you didn't have all this clutter, all this junk, and you weren't stuck in this town that didn't really cater to who you want to be. We started to want a life that wasn't so consumed with business in a town that didn't represent who we are, but one that was free and involved traveling, adventuring, chasing ourselves and chasing our dreams together. And monetizing ourselves and our dreams. That's it. We can't do that. Pretty much we had to create a business that didn't depend on us every second of the day, and that's exactly what we did. We hired, we delegated. There was a lot of trial and error. People came, people left, but ultimately we were successful. No, that's not it. Oh, that's exactly what I was supposed to say, actually. We spent about two weeks packing everything up. It was a daunting and overwhelming process. Um, we sold everything we put on Facebook Marketplace. That includes couches, televisions, tables, chairs, paintings, literally everything that you could think of. We started selling it. We donated clothes. We gave away clothes. Jacqueline spent days probably getting rid of all our clothes or not all of them i promise you not all of them i started packing everything up and i just wanted to move faster and faster because you start living in a space that is no longer comfortable it's no longer who you are so you want to get out of there uh, we even gave stuff away to our team we called friends and family like what do you want had people help us move things into a storage space we did everything to clean that house out 2300 square foot home we had to clear out. It was full of stuff like packed to the brim and fit it in my 2008 Dodge Charger. It's not a Charger, is it? Just kidding. It's not a Charger. It's an Avenger. A Dodge Avenger. Is it an Avenger? I think it's an Avenger. Dodge Avenger. Dodge Avenger. 2008 Dodge Avenger. That's it. To put it short, it was not easy to get rid of things, but we did. And it was a lot of talking, a lot of conversating, a lot of nostalgia, etc. But we did it. And I have to say, the most amazing thing we did was fit everything into the Dodge Adventure. Three kitchen boxes, two big suitcases, two small suitcases. Um, one of them filled completely with books, camera equipment, computer equipment, a dog, and two humans. And an embroidery machine. Why? You will soon. I can't really describe how freeing it was to get rid of all this stuff. Um, stuff that, you know, is hand me downs, it's stuff that you bought on the whim. It's ultimately borderline gluttonous. Some of the things yeah. that we started to buy, it's junk. To be sitting in an empty house of things that are no longer there, literally looking in your car, and that is everything. It's like a burden lifted off a huge burden was lifted off of us and i'm not i know we're not quite uh matt diavellis really a more minimalist yet but we are close are i don't know i don't know i i feel like we are definitely all i own is clothes clothes and computer here now all yeah she's and right. still getting rid of clothes and she's still getting rid of clothes 
I'm just kidding. Wear Mad Diavella and Australia more. I mean, Watch I don't out. Like seeing shirt every day. Sorry. Yeah, we don't do that. Sorry, Matt. Matt. One of the main reasons we're doing that, apart from the idea that, uh, you know, all these travel influencers and minimalists and people like that uh, wanting to attempt that, that lifestyle, another reason is we don't, we didn't like all the things that were in our house because they were hand me downs, because they were bought on the limb. We're ready to take a step up and I don't care. We don't care if it takes a year, three years, six months, 10 years. We want to buy one piece at a time that we actually care about and start to build a real home. I'm 27, Jacqueline is 28. We're ready to enter that stage of our lives, even if it means not having a lot of stuff for that long. So, or maybe ever, man. Maybe we'll stay like this forever. Sometimes simple is better. We needed life to be more simple so we can focus on the things we really care about, reevaluate, move to a place that we really love, and grow from here on out. We build a great foundation for ourselves, but now let's start laying those bricks, building those wood pieces. Let's start scoping this thing out. Travel influencers, here we come. Matt Diavella, I'm catching up on your minimalist style. I was a minimalist before I moved into the house, just so you know. I guess it's my and fault. I really I guess. liked having a nest and like being domestic. Yeah, supposedly so I know, shot I'm not her down. Catching up on anything, I am a minimalist. Supposedly I shot her down from the sky and grounded her or something. I don't know. But we like having a nest and we like traveling. So we're, I, I don't think we'll ever be like true minimalist, but I think we um, will be a lot more careful about the things that we choose to buy. We, we are like clean. Minimalists. We're, we're minimalist now. So we'll I'm saying. always be minimalist. But we were going to have nice things. Yeah, but that minimalism doesn't mean you can't have nice things. It just means that you're not buying a shit ton of stuff all the time. Yeah. It's necessary. Like, I need a bed. It's just going to be a really nice bed. I need a bed. It's just gonna be a really nice. I need bed. a house. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. Let us know if you are a minimalist, if you think this is a step towards minimalist lifestyle, if you've ever done anything crazy like this. We literally left our business in South Carolina, delegated all of our stuff. We still do stuff on the go. Now we're in LA chasing our dreams, beginning to figure out what this next step looks like for us. If you rock with that, if you rock with me, if you rock with Jacqueline subscribe it helps us a lot when you subscribe you can follow me on instagram hold on 803 i'll catch you later it's crazy whole house is unpacked actually feels really I feel a lot of relief knowing that i got rid of so much stuff it's uh i don't know it's crazy artemis is chilling I'm excited for this new adventure. I'm excited for all the possibilities. I'm excited for the risk. I'm a gambler, so here we go. Officially She's driving like away. And Artemis is pissed. Artemis is pissed. Because he blocked, blocked it so her head can't be next to it. And we per I purposely made her a pad so she could be eye level with us. Here we go. But she's chilling. <laughs>